Welcome to the AV Nodal Reentry Tachycardia, or AVNRT lecture. We'll go into the various types of AVNRT, do a brief visual on the mechanism, and of course show you some 12 leads. For about 99% of us, distinguishing between these types of SVT isn't necessary, and the surface 12 lead isn't always concrete, but it can give us an idea of the possible problem. But as I mentioned before, I'm a simple guy who doesn't like getting nitpicky about things. So our AV node has two different pathways, a slow and a fast pathway. It can be normal to have dual AV node pathways, but how our AV node responds determines if we get SVT or not. The most common type of AVNRT is our slow fast, which is about 90% of all of our AVNRTs. The next is fast slow, and the final one is slow slow. In our normal pathway in our AV node, we have a fast and a slow pathway. Our fast pathway depolarizes fast, and our slow pathway depolarizes slowly. However, the slow pathway has a shorter refractory period and is able to accept in our impulse faster than our fast pathway. An impulse enters our AV node and quickly goes down our fast pathway and slowly down our slow pathway. These impulses collide and cancel each other out in the slow pathway and the impulse heads down to our ventricles via our fast pathway. In our slow fast AVNRT, we have our fast and slow pathways like before, but in this example, we have an ectopic PAC which comes to play. Remember, ectopic premature beats occur before our next scheduled beat. Because the fast pathway has a longer repolarization time, it will be refractory initially to the impulse. The impulse will head down the slow pathway, go down to our ventricles, and then up the fast pathway because at this point the fast pathway is able to be stimulated. This creates a reentry circuit. The impulse has an anterograde conduction down the slow pathway and a retrograde conduction up our fast pathway. For a fast-slow mechanism, there is anterior grade conduction down the fast pathway and retrograde conduction up the slow pathway, creating our reentry circuit. This is our 12 lead of an AVNRT. I see regular narrow complex tachycardia with no P waves. The rate is around 160 to 170 beats per minute, which is probably a bit too fast for sinus tachycardia. This will help drop down our differentials to AVRT, AVNRT, and atrial flutter. The PVC is kind of key here. There isn't any flutter waves noted after the PVC, so flutter is kind of out. And you can see your PVC in V4 and V5. The rhythm also did not convert after the PVC, so this takes out AVRT and leaves our AV nodal reentry tachycardia. The reason why this PVC excludes AVRT is because in AVRT, the accessory pathway is outside of the AV node, and this is more susceptible to converting back to a normal rhythm. And here's our example of our slow, fast AVNRT, which is our most common. Some of the EKG findings you're going to get is rate right around 160 to 170 beats per minute. You can have absolutely no P waves, including retrograde P waves. Or you can have a pseudo R in V1, which we can see there. It's a little blip, and that's going to be a retrograde P wave. And you can have a pseudo S wave in your inferior leads, and you can see that in lead 2. But this is going to be your typical type of SVT pattern. And that's going to wrap it up for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys at the next one.